In this video, we're going to learn how to find relative extrema of functions with several variables. Let's take a look at the process for doing this. So, if we have a function, we're going to take the first derivative uh, with respect to x and with respect to y to find our critical points. So that's this step here, finding the critical point. And that's the first thing that we're going to do when we start the process of the relative extrema test with multiple variables. So after we find the first derivative with respect to x and with respect to y, we're going to set it equal to 0 and solve them. And then the second part of the test comes from taking all the second order partials and running this test that we're going to use right here, the second derivative test. The second derivative test says evaluate f of xx at the critical value times evaluating yy at the critical value minus evaluating xy at the critical value and squaring that term. And then if the second derivative test is positive, then we need to look at f of xx and see if it's positive or negative. If it's negative, we have a relative maximum, which is this line here. And then if f of xx is negative, then we have a relative minimum. Now if the second derivative test comes up negative itself, then we don't have to look at f of xx, and then we're going to say that it has a saddle point at that critical value. And if it comes up 0, the test is inconclusive. So let's take a look at an example. I have the function f of xy is equal to x squared plus 6xy plus y squared plus 16x. So the first thing that I'm going to do is take my first order partial with respect to x, and my first order partial with respect to y. So with respect to x, we have 2x. The second term, we have plus 6y. The third term is 0. And our fourth term is plus 16. And then f with respect to y, the first term is 0. The second term is 6x. The third term is plus 2y, and the last term is 0. So now in order to find our critical value, what we're going to do is solve this system of equations. And I'm going to choose to use elimination. So I'm going to multiply fy by negative 3 so I get a negative 6y. So I'm going to carry over this function because I'm not going to change it. And remember, we're setting these equal to 0 to find our critical values. So now I have negative 18x minus 6y is equal to 0. And now I'm going to add down. And when I add down, I get negative 16x. And 6y minus 6y is 0. Plus 16 is equal to 0. And now I'm going to solve for x. Negative 16x is equal to negative 16. And x is equal to 1. So now that we know that x is equal to 1, now we can plug it into either of the functions. It wouldn't matter. So I'm going to choose to use 6x plus 2y is equal to 0. So I have 6 times 1 plus 2y is equal to 0. So 2y is equal to negative 6, and y is equal to negative 3. So we know our critical value is at... 1, negative 3. And now we need to determine what kind of relative extrema we have here. So in order to do this, we're going to need the second order partials for f of xx, for f of xy, and for f of yy. So f of xx, we go up to the x, f of x, and we take the derivative with respect to x. And the first term is the only term that's not 0. The other two terms are treated like constants. So we have 2. f of xy, go up to the f of x and do it with respect to y, and we get 6. f of yy, start with f of y and take it with respect to y, and we get 2. So now we need to do our second derivative test. So we're going to have d of xy is equal to f of xx evaluated at xy times f of yy evaluated at xy 
minus f of xy evaluated at xy all squared. So here d of 1, negative 3 is equal to, now in this case all of our second order partials were constants, so we don't have to plug anything in here, we don't have to evaluate it. So here we have 2 f of xx times f of yy, which is 2, minus 6 squared, which is equal to negative 32. And since negative 32 is less than 0, we have a saddle point. And when we have a saddle point, we need to find the third dimension value. So what we're going to do is er evaluate the original function, which was f of x, y, is equal to x squared plus 6xy plus y squared plus 16x, and we need to evaluate that at 1 and negative 3. So f of 1, negative 3 is equal to 1 squared plus 6 times 1 times negative 3 plus negative 3 squared plus 16 times 1. And when we add all that up, we get 8. So we're going to say that we have a saddle point at 1, negative 3, 8. And that's how we find relative extrema of functions with several variables.